If you had three apples in one hand and three in the other, how many apples would you have? In the olden days, it would be six. Six apples. Now, it is a little more complicated. In the old days, if you wanted some apples, you had to plant an apple tree. The better you looked after it, the more apples you would get. Some people had bad soil or saw themselves too badly to look after the trees. And so the great and the good of the communities got together and formed apple societies, in which everyone put a few apples in a pile to lend apple trees and apple tree making equipment to those who needed it, as long as they gave the apple society back some apples in return. The apple societies and banks soon had more apples than they knew what to do with, so they started to cream off the profits and made apple pies, apple juice and iPods. But between the olden days and the newen days, something has come along to spoil all the apples. Investment bankers. They worked out that if they gave apple trees to people who were rubbish at gardening, but then made them give all the apples they grew to the bank, they could make lots of apples for no work. The two greediest and foolish of all these bankers was a baron called Freddie Mac and a baroness called Fanny Mae. Between them, they owned most of the apples in the new world, and they squeezed the poor for all their apples. But it got to the stage where they were demanding more apples than the pauper's trees could provide, and they went into negative equitries. And so the apple crunch began. All of the subprime market had to give back their trees. The good gardeners saw this and got scared, running to the banks and apple societies and getting back all of their apples. This meant the banks and apple societies didn't have enough apples to go round and stopped lending apples to each other overnight. Which, by the way, is a thing that no one knew they did until everyone in the news kept talking about it in such a normal way that we all had to presume that we were stupid for not knowing. And the world seized up. The king made more apples out of magic and gave them to the banks, but the banks didn't want to lose their apples again, so they gorged themselves on them until they were fat with magic apples. The king got angry and fired all the greedy bankers, but thanks to contracts and pension rights, barons like Sir Fred Goodwin has the right to collect 700,000 apples from the paupers every year until he dies. And that is why we are all fucked. The end.